Hey guys, Dr. Ahmed Al Hasni here from the Institute of Digital Dentistry at the IDS 2023. And really excited, we are at the three disc booth here and they have a brand new scanner that has just been released. So I will hand it over to the team and they can introduce themselves and tell us all about it. Thank you. I'm Marie-Laure Pochon. I'm the CEO of 3Disc. As it was said, we celebrate today the birth of a new scanner, OVO. And OVO is a homemade product created after 18 months of hard work. And uh, the big difference is that with OVO, you have a scanner. We have three technologies inside the OVO. You have a scanner, you have a, a 2D camera making pictures and, of course, films, and also a software which integrates and display all the, the information that can be shown to the patients. But, of course, I think the best is to make a demo, and I will uh, hand over the mic to uh, Iman Boyle, who is uh, our software director. Very good. Thank you. Thanks for coming to visit us here at the IDS. We're excited about our new product, and um, I'm going to start the demo. So we have OVO here itself, which is our new uh, intraoral scanner. As you can see, we have come with a sort of very streamlined base. We've built in this lighting system here. The hardware itself has been redesigned completely. We have updated all of our components. We've kept what we need from the essential optics chain to give us that precision that we have today and to keep going with further enhanced colors, better final resolution in our data sets, and overall we feel a more comfortable experience. And then that builds on what we're calling our scan and tell communication hub, which is making it easier for the doctor uh, and the patient to communicate about different elements, not necessarily the most important, or maybe it's not important is the wrong word, the most complicated procedures, but being able to get a clear vision of what's going on in their mouth and to take into control what needs to be done and to look at a more predictive and preventative approach to dentistry, which we feel today has been missed by some of the other scanner manufacturers on the market who are focusing a lot more on restoration and aligners and other treatments for the patient. We think that using the scanner on a day-to-day -day basis offers a lot of benefits to our users. So we have our new updated interface here. And then coming down here, we still have our list of patients. As you move down here, you can easily navigate through the different patients that you have. So one of the key features that we have added in this is the ability to have our dedicated 2D mode here at the beginning. So what we feel is that when the scanner is sitting there, as it is in most clinics just beside the chair, if you have a patient and you want to quickly show them something, you can just easily switch on your scanner. You take the scanner, you find an area where you want to take your image, and then you just easily take the image here and you build up the images you want. Or if you want to go into a video mode, you just start the video mode here, and you can start to just film certain areas within the patient's mouth so that you can just use this for later on for talking to them, or you can just bring it up on the screen in the clinic at the same time as you are um, talking with the patient itself. So it allows you to build this up here. You can add in different comments here as well just to remind you of what you need for later. And from that particular perspective, you start to build up more and more images and data sets for your patients. So as you have that way of making them aware of what's going on and then if they feel that, yes, it's the right day or we'll come back next week to do that crown or to, to fill that uh, slight carry that they have, or if it's something else that's a little bit more minor, then you can maybe do it on the spot. So it's trying to move this from just being purely a restorative-based tool to something that we can use on a day-to-day -day basis. So moving on from that, we see the cases associated with a patient. We can quickly add in our uh, 3D data set here, indicate what we need to be needs to be done, or just quickly step to the next step. And one of the key updates that we have within this version of the software is the improved scanning and the improved color. So just for the purposes of the demo, I'm just going to just focus on this area here that we can go in and just scan. Once we stop scanning, we've enabled uh, the ability for the user to quickly control and navigate the data that they have while we're generating the mesh. 
once you generated the mesh, then all of our tools become available. One of them that we are we really like to put forward for our users is the use of the quality map, just to make sure that they are fully scanning the areas of interest that they need. We can jump back into the scan at this stage here, and we can start to add in uh, additional information as we're scanning. And if you would press the C button there for me, at any stage we can just start to capture different images while scanning. So what we're seeing is we got a, an ability to build up more images as we're actually scanning going around the arch. We've introduced here as well at the bottom <coughs> the idea of a tool that allows us to define a zone that we can have uh, our HR uh, resolution in this zone here. So we can just pick, an, ideally you'd pick a crown area or you pick somewhere that you want to keep in high precision. So it means that we're getting a little bit more efficiently to get to our final data set where we can just st streamline the amount of data that's been sent to the lab and have the, the high precision exactly where we want. If not, you can set all your default settings in a very simple way to either keep high resolution all the time. So we're trying to make it as easy and convenient for the doctor to take their 3D data sets, take their 2D data sets and build up the final data set. So here at the end, we have the ability to see, I know you've used the previous scanner, but I feel that the color here is much more impressive than we had, had before. And that comes down to our improved optics and also down to the improved processing that we're doing in the background to get to that high level of color. We just one thing here just to let you know that the interface is fully touchscreen compliant as well which was a big request that we had from our users as well that you can easily just navigate here on 3D you can do pretty much everything you need on it within a touchscreen environment as well so we're moving forward on the scanning side and on the full workflow so over here once you have your scan complete you have your images that you took while scanning you can bring in the images associated with the patient at a particular patient level. And then our goal is that when the doctor wants to communicate and work with their patients, that they can choose a particular image here. They can show the patient where it is in 3D. They can start to build up a, a patient file here. Um, add in the comments that they need. Come down here, put in some more general notes. And then at the end, uh, we generate all of this into a simple PDF document that allows them to see their data sets and to communicate that with them. So part of our idea is that if the patient wishes to take this away with them, we have a one-click functionality that allows them to receive a link to get to this. The second part of the Scan and Tell interface is the ability to share this finding with the, the patient within the, the clinic. So we come into our iPad application. That within this one, we see everything we need for the particular patient. So in this case, it is, what was the name of this patient here? Book and Monitoring Sectorial. So I'm gonna pick my patient here. We should be able to see the 3D data that we scanned is here. And from here, then we can go into our um, book on monitoring, or another book of our preliminary examination here. We can bring back in our case images here as well. We're also giving the user the ability to bring in uh, additional 2D images as well, should they need it to enhance. And how are you making this connection between the iPad and the software? Is it through a QR code or? I, yeah, we do. So in the settings here, we have the ability for the user to see the QR code here. And with that QR code, it gives them then the ability to just scan the QR code here. If you reset the server, you get the option you take it. Is this an Apple app? It is an Apple app, yes. What about Android devices? Uh, at the moment, we focus on the, the Apple device. So that's what Mary Laura is saying. It's part of the, the OVO package that we're selling. It includes the <coughs> Apple iPad when you purchase it. Does it work on phones? It doesn't work on the phone today. We felt that from a visualization it's point of view, it's too small. And within the clinic, it means that you can connect uh, multiple iPads to the same database. So, so you're selling the iPad to the distributor with the product? Yes. 
So we felt that to give that full communication package that it made a lot of sense to give them everything they need from the beginning. But the user would still need to buy a laptop? Yes, yes. So our analysis was that the market has not developed as, as the we all expected to develop it means that when we were in 2019 or 18 we thought that all the dentists would be equipped in three years time or five years time which is not the case and it's not the case we think because most of the dentists are not ready to spend fifteen thousand dollars or fifteen thousand whatever for a device which is the work of the lab and not really is not a clinical tool and we want to provide to the dentist a real clinical tool that is good for them with their patient relation and the acceptance of the treatment. And that's the work we have done. We have combined three technologies, as I said, a scanner, a camera, and a way to display a software that displays information. And you mentioned the recommended retail price at the moment is? It's $16,000. And that includes the iPad? Yeah, of course. So quite competitively priced. So just to go back here to a different and easier case to demonstrate. So we have here on the computer, we have our 3D data sets. We have our preliminary examination that has been set up here by the doctor. And we can see the comments and the finding that the doctor have. We find it here and giving it to our patient. It allows them then to look at the different images. They can navigate to it. It shows where it is in 3D. That's quite cool. Zoom in and zoom out. And you can actually give them that ability to do this while you're adding the information here. I've tested obviously a lot of scanners and they all try to do some sort of patient communication. Definitely, I see what you mean, the big focus with patient communication has been apps and smile design and orthodontics, but this is quite neat, especially bundling it with an iPad because definitely you could hand this over to your patient and show them quite effectively rather than, you know, fumbling on a laptop. The way we present it and the way we organize the whole software, Scan and Tell, with preliminary exam, with buccal monitoring and smile design, is patented. Nice, nice. We're working on a way that we feel will help drive scanner adoption. That's part of our key focus is we feel that digital offers a lot of benefits, but we want to increase the benefits on a day-to-day -day basis within the clinic. No, really cool. And so is there anything else to showcase at this stage? Um, the last thing that I'd show you today is, I'll just pick a case here. We're looking at patients evolving dentition over time. So we've come up with what we're calling a, a buccal monitoring tool that allows us to, for example, we have a patient here, we see their initial dentition. We can see also the, the cutbacks that have been done for the veneering and we can see the final veneers. So. For example, we can then launch what we're calling book and monitoring, which is our sort of full patient mouth tool that allows you to be able to see the changing evolutions in the patient's mouth over time. So I picked this example because it gives you quite a strong vision of what's changed. But we feel five years ago, maybe it wasn't the ideal tool to launch. But now when you talk to people, they have historical records with different scans and you patients coming back and they've pain here and there and they sort of either, maybe it's bruxism, maybe there's also the ability, has the soft tissue changed over time, is there a little bit of recession in the soft tissue? So we're trying to put together a, a simple interface that takes two data sets over a period of time and allows the, the doctor to be able to look and say, things have changed in a positive way or a negative way. And this is only with the Heron scans or OVO scans? So can you use old hair and scans or no? The, the software we have improved for hair and we have improved the scanning speed. We've included the scanning color. We've added some additional smaller features. But this is for OVO. This the communication package with OVO is how to better communicate. So it's giving us, we feel, an ability to position ourselves with doctors who want to scan, we have one product. We have a second product then for the doctors who want to take it a step further, use it on a day-to-day -day basis and use it as a communication tool. So it's setting us in a position where we have two products depending on what the doctor wants. So you will continue to sell the Heron? Yes. No, no, it's a very popular product and we want to keep selling and we will keep updating and improving that software over time as well.
Yeah, it sounds like a lot from the three disc team. Uh, thank you so much, guys, and I really appreciate your time today. All right, guys, so that is everything from the three disc team. And as you can see, quite a interesting offering here with OVO, with the focus really being patient communication and interaction. You're and, welcome. Um, I look forward to reviewing this. Thank you very much for your visit. Thank you.